So The Sims franchise turned 21 years old this week. The game came out in the year 2000 on February 4th when I was just six months old. I'm sorry if that makes you feel old, but this game has been around my entire life, literally. And I was trying to think of some sort of silly way we could celebrate, you know? For example, maybe a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> Never forget everyone's favorite hot tub. The celebration for The Sims 20th anniversary last year. It's stunning. But anyway, I was trying to think of some silly way to celebrate, and I decided that it could be fun to try and build a house with only 21 objects. I don't even know if that's actually possible. I think it should be. It's certainly not gonna be a good house. It's going to be very empty. But I like the idea of trying to prioritize, like what is an absolute necessity? What can I not live without? Do I care more about a bed or a shower? We'll have both of those, don't worry. So that's what we're gonna do today. Although I must set some ground rules, okay? Number one, do windows count as objects? I'm gonna go with no. I think like essential build features like columns or railings or stairs, I don't think those are objects. I think that objects count as things in the furniture catalog. Although I don't think we're allowed to use like these things, like the chimneys and stuff, that's that's an object. Decorative stuff, these are objects. These are like decorative furniture pieces. So we have 21 things from the furniture catalog to choose from. I think to start off we should try to like lay out 21 objects. Like let's just lay out the necessities and see if we can do this, right? So for example, a bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're already at nine. That's what we need. This is the absolute necessity. I guess 10, 11, 12, <laughs> 13, 14, 15. Oh no, that's 18 objects. We have a living room, a computer, dining, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, and that's 18. So what, like the 19's a nightstand? Or should we, no, we should prioritize a dresser. 19's a dresser, because then your sim can use the functionality of like planning their outfits and stuff. And what's 20? Maybe a bookshelf? I mean, this is very functional. It could definitely be rearranged. Like we could definitely figure out ways to not have a bathroom sink or like not have a desk and a table and just put a laptop on the table and stuff, but I think this is a good starting point. At least now we know we can actually do it. <laughs> At least now we know it's gonna work. Although I think we might need to go to a smaller lot because there's not gonna be a backyard in this house. It's gonna need to be really small because we don't have a lot of furniture. So like, let's be realistic about this. It, it's gonna be about just this size. And again, we can't count like doors and windows as objects because otherwise it just wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking some creative liberties here. You're allowed a door. I might try and make it base game only too. I think our goal with this really is to have it be a super tiny little house, but not look like a super tiny little house. Like in an ideal world, you wouldn't look at this house and think, oh, that's a 20 object house. I want it to look as normal as possible. Okay, let's figure out the floor. <gasps> lights. Oh no. I just realized that we need to have lights. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Suddenly it's an EA restrictions build and we don't have enough space for lights. Oh no. Okay, so we need windows. This is gonna be bad. I just, I can tell already we're a little bit doomed. <laughs> I completely forgot about light. Okay, so one, two, and then a third light in the bathroom. We need to have at least three lights. Mm, there's already three objects down. <laughs> That's not fair. No, we can do this. I can't believe I forgot about lights in my calculations. <laughs> I bet some of you were like screaming at the screen like Kayla, you're missing something. That is my bad. Failed to take that one into account. Okay, you know what? I think a little back porch would be nice. I'm not too worried about money with this one, so we could definitely have a back patio. Well, there can't be any furniture on it though, which is a little bit less than ideal, but that's okay. And like no outdoor lights. Definitely can't have those. Also no landscaping. Okay, we have 21 items. We can make this work. I think the hardest part is gonna be like the lack of rugs and decorations because I feel like we're gonna so badly want to have that sort of thing and then we just won't be able to. Okay, wood floors. We are luckily allowed a door. <laughs> Good for us. We can use slightly more expensive counters, like nothing's stopping us there. That's already eight items, <laughs> just with the kitchen and the lights. Maybe a shower tub combo. 11, we're at 11? <laughs> we only have 10 left. Okay, this is fine. 12, 13, 14, oh my God. 16, 17, 18. <laughs> 19, what, and then bed is 20? Is that really all we can do? 20? <sighs> okay, I guess we don't necessarily need the laptop, but I would very much like to have that. I think it would be a very silly choice to delete the laptop in favor of having like a, a dresser. Because I think we need a nightstand for the house to not look ridiculous, but that puts us at 21, that's the limit. Can't have any more items. <laughs> Can we like, hmm, the house isn't really big enough to have a fake rug. I'm wondering maybe if the house was a little bit smaller, 
if it would like seem more acceptable to have this lack of furniture if we just make the bedroom smaller and then the bed is like there because I, I do want that dresser I think we need to have at least a dresser or a mirror okay I think that helps we could also probably make this bathroom smaller to just be a toilet and a shower and then we could replace the sink with something else but what do you think is more important a bathroom sink or a rug in the living room <laughs> where are your priorities because I I'm gonna be honest I think my priorities are a rug in the living room and I hate to admit it but that's how I feel I would honestly rather rather have a rug than have a bathroom sink. That's like genuinely kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I'm doing it. What if there was no light in the bathroom? What are your thoughts on that? Who am I becoming? <laughs> Suggesting we get rid of lights? Maybe we make the porch bigger then. Bigger and with no furniture on it. Great. Well, it's not necessarily a bad looking house. It's also not a good looking house, but I don't think it looks empty. I think it just looks like a cheap house in The Sims. I almost want to get like a third window. It doesn't look that good from the inside, but I just, I'm trying to think of ways to have more light in here and if we say windows don't count as as items can i just get lots of them i want to pick cuter chairs too wish we could have like plants <laughs> we can't even have a tree outside what if the house becomes even smaller okay you know what i think that helps with the interior yeah i think it looks better from the outside before but oh well wait <laughs> let me fix the roof but i i do think it looked better from the outside when it was bigger but i think it helps the inside to be smaller so i'm gonna do it okay i can't believe i forgot about lights <laughs> I'm like genuinely kind of mad at myself over that. How did I manage that? I came into this so confident because I was like, oh, psh, we can have 20 items. Oh, well, Kayla, you seem to have forgotten something slightly important. How about pink? Or should the whole house be green because it's like the Sims anniversary? Oh, we should have tried to put a bar for their 21st anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! You're legal! Should I delete something and have a bar instead? No, I'm like not kidding about that now. <laughs> I kind of want to do it. You know what? We probably don't need to have a TV and a computer. We can make sure they have a couch. Like, they can use the computer to get their fun up. So then we have two more objects. So I can have a bar. <laughs> the thing is, we don't have a lot of extra objects. So it's like, we can have a bar and a tree. Is that what, we're, what we really want to go for? I mean, that is what I want to go for. Who am I kidding? I don't need anything else. This is a, a nice, small house belonging to a, a young mixologist. Is that even functional? Do I have to put it against the wall? I guess that's fine there, because then they can walk around the back. This is so funny. <laughs> It just, it looks so out of place, you know? And all of this so I can have a tree. Was it worth it? Let's make it green. Oh, you know what? The green trim is actually quite fun. I wish that they put the green trim there. Do you know what? We probably could have the bathroom be big still. It doesn't look very good, but it looks better from the outside if it's bigger. Oh, this bar situation is not good. Okay, what if the bar was in the backyard and we made like a little patio and we stuck it over here? I kind of like this house. It's like not even bad anymore. All right, I'll be honest. This went way better than I was expecting. Oh yeah, we could totally do the bar like that. Okay, let's count the objects again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Wait. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. We still have one more? I can put something else? How about like a bush? Ew. <laughs> um, am I miscounting this? Three? No, that's 21 now. So we do have one extra. We can have a bush. Does that make a difference even? Well, maybe it does make a difference. Oh, I need a trash can. Never mind. <laughs> we, don't, we can't put fun extra things. The trash can is necessary for the house to be functional. Fine. Oh, and a mailbox. You know what? No, I think the mailbox, like, because the lot comes with a mailbox. Like, if I were to move a sim in right now, it would, like, place a mailbox down somewhere. You can't build a house without a mailbox in the sims. I think the mailbox doesn't count as an item. The mailbox is like the window. That's a stretch. Okay, but that's 21 items. How much is the house worth? I definitely use like not the cheapest things. Only 11k. Should have tried to make it worth 21,000. <laughs> Maybe we could put like a fence around this just to have the backyard look a little bit more interesting. I don't know. It's not a real fence. Where should I put? Th See, I'm trying to decide where to put the bar. I had it like on the line, but then it looks kind of weird because it's too close to the stairs. So should it be there? I don't know. <laughs> 21 items for 21 years. Maybe next year we can have a bush in front of the house. <laughs> That'll be exciting. This year we got a massive upgrade with the uh, trash can compared to last year. So get it because next year we'll have 22 items. Um, anyway, happy birthday to The Sims 4. We should have put a hot tub instead of this thing, but I, I feel like the bar is funny because they're 21, but maybe the hot tub is better. It's so hard to know what to do with this. <laughs>
Why am I doing this to myself? It also doesn't match. Like, it's not gonna blend in the right way. Although the green kind of works. I don't know where to put it and have it make sense. <laughs> this, I Like, I want to use the anniversary hot tub. Which one's more important? Or we delete the trash can and have both. I'm just saying. Does the house need to function? I don't know. Where are your priorities? Trash or hot tubs? Oh, maybe it could be like this. No, that's ridiculous. It doesn't work. I can't, no. <laughs> Forget it. I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep the, the bar. I am so sorry about that detour. I, I had a momentary lapse in judgment, but we figured it out. The house is done. I We have to stop. It's up. <laughs> You're welcome. I wonder if they'll actually do something for the anniversary this year. It's the 21st anniversary, so like, I don't know if I expect anything. And I feel like we just had an update because the pack came out, so there was the update with the scared emotion beforehand. I don't know. I guess I'm keeping my expectations low. <laughs> I, I don't expect to see an update, but I'd be happy if we did. Hang on. In classic Sims fashion, they have posted a tweet after I finished recording. So I was just sitting here talking like, I don't think we're gonna get anything for the anniversary this year. Well, they made a tweet. We aren't getting anything today but on February 25th, they said that we have partnered with some talented creators to create a gift for our community by our community. Hashtag you make the Sims. I don't know what this means. I replied to the tweet and everybody was like, you're in on it, you're in on it, you're in on it. No, <laughs> I wish. I don't know about this one. We've partnered with some talented creators. I think what makes me nervous about this, and hopefully they wouldn't hype it up this much if it was gonna be something silly, but I'm worried it's gonna be like, we're gonna do a Twitch stream, you know? Because they do that a lot, like they, they still host sim streamers on their channel, which is great and awesome to give those streamers like a platform and, and more audience, but surely they do more than just that for the 21st anniversary, right? I just worry it's gonna be like, we got someone to draw the sims, or like, I don't know, I hopefully it's like actually an update, or like an item, like a tangible thing in game, and not just like a, a Twitch stream. I think I feel very worried because of what's happened last year with the hot tub. I'm like, I don't have any expectations for the anniversary update. Like I, well, I don't even know if it's going to be an update. We all thought like for the 20th anniversary last year, we were like, there's going to be a massive anniversary update. It's going to be huge. There's going to be so many cool things. And then it was like a kind of ugly hot tub. So now this year I'm like, eh. <laughs> if we get something, I'll be happy. They could recolor the hot tub and I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> or if they like recolored the cupcake machine. Oh boy. You know, like I don't, I don't have high hopes. Oh, if they actually paid CC creators to add some content to the game, that would be amazing. That would be cool. We've partnered with some talented creators to create a gift for our community by our community. I wonder, do you think? No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up. I guess we'll see on February 25th. Mark your calendars, folks. At least we have a tree, you know? Anyway, on that note, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry, this is really silly. I promise I have better builds that I'm gonna post this week, okay? I, I will redeem myself. And on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Now, we make jokes about it, but let's be real. The Sims is such a massive part of my life, and I think it is a massive part of many of your lives as well. It is really cool that this game's been around for so long. 21 years this game's been out for. That's awesome. I owe a lot to The Sims. I owe everything to The Sims, in fact. So, <laughs> I'm pretty grateful for it.